Hi, this is Eric with the Automation Station. I wanted to create this short video to hopefully help you out if you're looking for solutions. Um, I spent days looking for a solution to this problem, many, many days, and I just couldn't find it. Uh, so I thought this video might help you, but the problem is um, I have Outlook 2 2019, and it's connecting to an on-premises Exchange Server 2016. And every time I'd open Outlook, I'd get one or two of these security alerts that would pop up. And basically, it was saying that the name on the security certificate is invalid or does not match the name of the site. Well, I have a SSL certificate from a certificate authority. And the names in there are like owa.mycompany.com or mail.mycompany.com or autodiscover.mycompany.com. Uh, what was missing was the uh, hard-coded uh, machine name of mycompany.local. Uh, it seems that you could, in the past, put that in a certificate, but you can't do that anymore. So every time Outlook would power up, it would give me one or two of these errors and occasionally would pop the error up when you're using it. Very frustrating. I spent days looking for a solution to this. Um, I checked my DNS configuration, my DNS settings on my uh, web page. I went through and set all the virtual directories to be the same, I thought. Um, and I was basically at the end of my rope trying to figure this out. I was trying to figure out how to turn off Outlook's checking of this. That apparently is not possible to do. Or at least I haven't found the way to do that. But I did finally find this guy's website, this person's website. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but this AJ Tech. And in his website, he's got a fairly lengthy guide here to make an exchange work properly, especially auto discover. And I didn't follow this whole page because I found it pretty quickly, the problem. One of the things he suggests is makes a, he says, he, should, he or she says you should make a backup of your exchange environment. So he put together this little script and uh, it runs through and you basically make some changes to uh, the domain name here to be yourcompany.com. And uh, what it does is creates a text file and saves that on your Windows System32 directory. So after I did this, before I moved on with the rest of the, the page here, uh, this command caught my eye. <clears throat> because when I started looking at the results, and you get a lot of results in there, but to kind of keep it simple, this was the problem I had. In my Outlook Anywhere, get Outlook Anywhere format list command, the external host name was listing the name in my certificate. The internal host name was not. It was listing the hard-coded name of the server. So it was the server name at mycompany.local, which is exactly what the server certificate was showing that's blurred out up here. <clears throat> so I figured this was my problem. So now I'm, okay, great. Now I know the problem. How do I fix it? And I was starting to look through the rest of his list here. And, and I didn't follow all this list because I had already done most of this. And, and it got to where, you know, he talked about it, he or she talked about ex, uh, configuring your exchange virtual directories to be the same. And I thought I did that as well. Uh, but then I started looking at this one command where he's uh, changing the authentication method. But the thing that caught my eye was this set anywhere, outlook anywhere identity. And again, looking at my results, these two didn't match. So I found, uh, through some more research, I found the command that I needed to run to make those match. And basically that's this one here where you have to go in and say set Outlook anywhere, the identity of the ID. So that comes out of the get anywhere, Outlook anywhere command, but you're basically your server. This is your ID that comes right from here. But then I told, I forced uh, the internal host name to be my auto discovery, or you could do mail or whatever's in your certificate. And then if you're using this set any outlook anywhere command, you have to also set the uh, SSL to true 
Once I ran this command, voila, Outlook 2019 would open up without the certificate error message. Easy fix. Took days to find. Save. Hopefully it'll save you some time because uh, that one change is all I needed and now my Outlook clients don't prompt for certificate warnings. So I just wanted to pass that on. I'll put this guy's link, this person's link to this guide um, and I'll put this command in uh, the comments of the video. But uh, hopefully this saves you some time and effort and uh, happy computing.